Hi, I'm Peter Galloway. I'm uh, an accountant in London and a trustee of the Poor Trust in the UK. This is my first trip to Mwavi, although not my first to Malawi, and I've come here to see what progress Gaynor and Barry have made, and I've been most impressed with everything that I've seen so far. I'm Kate, I'm a self-employed management consultant um, and I'm one of the ambassadors for Poor in the UK. My job is to help um, Poor to raise money. I'm one of the volunteers responsible for the Walk for Water campaign. The Walk for Water campaign um, raises money for boreholes um, in this part of Malawi. We walk in, in uh, the national parks in the UK, um, sponsored walks, people donate and so on. We send the money out here and it's used to, um, to develop the boreholes, to develop the boreholes. Hi, I'm Dave Start. Uh, I work for uh, a heritage trust uh, in the UK and I've come to, uh, to Africa to see what poor does uh, here in Malawi. This is my first time in Africa and it's been just a remarkable experience. I'm completely blown away by uh, the landscape, by the people, by the way things are done here, uh, particularly the, the low-tech element to it all and the way that uh, everything has to work at such a low tech. We've been working with the poor charity in the UK, uh, helping to fundraise with the Walk for Water campaign um, and uh, putting together funding for the creation of boreholes. And while I've been here, uh, I've had the chance to see uh, boreholes in action, uh, boreholes with solar panels on them, boreholes with pumps, boreholes with just people pumping water. Uh, and one of the things that's absolutely clear when you come here is the enormous need for that water. I'm Pauline Davis and I work for Hull City Council as a Director of Housing Investment and Renewal and being part of the regeneration of uh, cities in the UK I've just grown interested in how regeneration practice could actually work in other countries like Malawi. I'm particularly interested in the Mwabi Wildlife Reserve and the work that Paul's been doing uh, through Gaynor um, who invited me to come over and have a look and see exactly what's been going on over the last few years and I'm really keen to be part of that process going forward and to think about how I could fundraise, how I could contribute to the community programme, how I could get other people to recognise that this is truly a great project, uh, a wonderful place in a wonderful country with fantastic people who could really uh, be sustainable and work for themselves and make a success of this project. We've had three snakes, snakes in our camp as well. And snakes. And one of them. 